Oz Des. So it's going to be a PVZ. It's going to be on Metro, uh, Metropolis. Okay. Quite a fun map. I like. I really like the look of it. Yeah, it's a nice map. It's good to play on. It's obviously made the ladder this year, uh, this season, should I say, not year. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see how this plans out for these two players. And here we go. It's spawning down here in the south position of Metropolis. Is the yellow Prodos? It is Dez from Team TLR. And his opponent, who is currently 1-0 up, is the pink Zerg. It's went up in the right-hand side of the map. It is infuse, uh, Team Infuse, Johnny Rico. So we saw Rico take a nice easy win in the last game on Shakura's Plateau with the Roach Hydra to Dez's Void Ray opening. So yet again, we will see the forward pylon down on the bottom. So we'll be going for a Forge Fast Expand. Obviously, can be done very easily on this map. Uh, you do have the Destructible Brewery just to the left. But uh, it's very easy to wall off just with the forge and the gateway, and then your cybernetics card can plot behind it somewhere, wherever you feel fit. So we'll Sorry about that. Was having another, just having a little coughing fit. It's okay. Uh, we will more than <laughs> likely just see Johnny Rico play exactly the same standard as last time. So it will see him do the fifteen pull into 15 or 16 hatch whichever one is feeling like third is obviously usually quite easy to take as well it's down in this little cabin area do have disruptible brie going down to it in both sides uh, of the uh, third should i say so we do normally like to see a pro player put a little pylon up here in the little corner uh, to do a few little warpings on the side so johnny rico would have to look out for that a bit later on in the game uh, but we'll see what the game brings us Yep, absolutely. I am really a fan of this map with the way that it uses the destructible debris. Rather than having a, a map where you look and literally say, nope, can't go that way. You're going to have to engage here, here, and that's it. In this map, it is early game. You have to engage through the chokes. Like, you have to engage in between the ramp and this little bit of destructible debris outside of Dez's base. But later game... You can obviously break down the rocks and attack the natural, or if they've taken a third, you can attack through the front or through the left-hand side, or if you want to push around, you can attack through the right-hand side, through the natural. Yeah, that is definitely true. So we do see Nexus first here from Dez, uh, followed by the oh, gateway, then the forge. is a complete wall-off, actually, with, with those three units. He's using the pylon for the complete wall-off, just to be a bit extra safe as well, as we did see Rico go for that fast uh, what, 15 spawning port into Hatch. It's the first couple of Zerglings do pop out. I don't think Dez actually has scouted anything yet, so he hasn't. He no, just... he has no vision. No, he does know where Johnny Rico is, though, because this Overlord obviously reached to him from this side. As we do see Rico also taking a fast third down here in the bottom corner. Yep, absolutely. Doing exactly what he did last game at the Forge Fast Expand. Instantly take your third base. Zerglings have come out here, and they are going to try and kill the Forge before this cannon finishes. Will they make it? No. I don't think don't think they will, and even if they do, the cannon will be able to get quite a few shots off before the Zerglings it will get be through. Quite close. He oh, might is he going to sacrifice tight. these things to actually, yes he's going to sacrifice these things, will he get the forge, he's on 30, 20 oh. health, there's one Zergling left oh. and it goes down. So Des will have to rebuild that forge right there as we do see the Cybernetic Scorpion being put just behind it. So yep, so a big loss there for Des I think really, if he was planning on a plus one timely attack, he's now got to wait, he's training a century though, first come out. No it or anything else on the map at the minute. But like we said before, Dez isn't a complete talk, uh, dark of what Rico is actually doing. And Rico is just droning up like a madman at the minute. Uh, it was only on 24 compared to 30 for Dez. So Dez, obviously with that Chrono Boost, is using it all on probes at the minute, not using it on anything else. Yeah, Dez has no army at the moment other than this single sentry. So if Rico was to do a big push and was able to get through that cannon... Dez would not be able to defend this, and Dez going Stargate again. This, he's doing exactly what he did last time. Yep, he's just going to go... I think this might be a bit of an all-in here, because we don't see no upgrades being researched from the Forge. Don't see anything but the Sentry being produced here, and will this Overlord get a glimpse of this Stargate? It is quite possible. Sentry's only tickle it, so he's still on 50 health. 
sees one of the gases. Will he see the Stargate? Ooh. Yes, he will. He goes to get vision of the Stargate. The Stargate has finished. Just as that Overlord dies. So, uh, Rico, obviously, know what is coming. We'll be able to produce that evolution chamber very shortly and throw down a couple of spore crawlers to help defend against the Void Ray, which is on its way. There Indeed, like you said, first Void Ray on the way. I'm just checking. Can Johnny Rico actually see what building was being produced if he wasn't looking at where that Overlord was? Because all he can see is a building being produced at the moment. Yep, he won't be able to tell it from just that if he didn't click on it. You need to click on it to view what is being built on the opponents as you go past it. So I'm sure Johnny Rico would be aware of what's going on. So we do see the Evolution Chamber on its way now. And the Roach one exactly the same timing as before. We've got two gases, three gases at the minute. Obviously to get that metabolic boost for the Zerglings, you'll get that plus one. Missile attack very shortly from that Evolution Chamber. Do see the layer on the way and produce, be able to produce a few rages to help deal with any pushes as we do see three more gateways going down. So both players doing exactly the same build right now. Crew spread going out very nicely here for Rico and getting nice vision of the map at the minute. He does have control of the watchtowers, obviously be able to see anything that is coming his way. Even if a sneaky approach has to go around the long way to, to put a forward pylon on anywhere. Indeed, it does seem to be a similar build, except for the fact that Dez appears to be concentrating more on taking his third, rather than pushing out for an attack. Because he does have to break the third rocks to actually get out, unless he chooses to break the ones at the front of his ramp. And we're sending out a couple Zerglings that do see these Void Rays, now that that Void Ray has engaged. So it does look like Dez is finally moving out. But it's never forward pile on down that I can see, so it's not going to be as aggressive as it was last time. It, this may just be just these Void Rays, because Dez has only gone mass sentry at home. So it could be these Void Rays are here to harass, put down a forward pylon and get some warp ins. While if Johnny Rico decides to counter-attack, then Dez has all these sentries at home, and there is enough spore crawlers down to chase out these Void Rays. Yep. Roaches, have come, Roaches have come down and forced a cancel on that forward pylon. Probe also goes down. So there's aggression from... Uh, Dez has been halted, yep, and Hydra's, his third is going down. Yep, Hydra is then going down as well for Rico, so we'll see him getting that Grizz Spine. There it is, that plus one Rage for his Hydra to deal with those Void Rays. Uh, we do see Roach Speed on the way, plus one Missile Attack is just about to finish. 16 Lings in production as well now. A lot of cannons going down here, Roach is third to help defend it. Against it with three gateways at the front of the ramp as well, fourth one to help seal the deal. Like you say, a lot of sentries out at the minute, gaining a lot of energy on, and a lot of them are over 200, 200 um, for those force fields, as he does take his third very tidily here. Yep, Johnny Rico has seen everything that Dez is doing at the moment. He did have a changeling in, but Dez has managed to pick off that changeling. And here comes a really sizable force from Johnny Rico here towards the center watchtower. Yep, a lot of Rachel's, a lot of Hydra's, and a couple of links to help finish it off. But these sentries have finished. And Dez looking to take his fourth. He's knocking down the uh, rocks at the side as well. Um, maybe indicating to go and take his third very shortly. Ray Ray Bay is just about to finish up before him right now as well. We'll see that thermal lands as soon as he's got that money. Um, first Immort uh, Immortal is coming out at the minute, but we'll see Colossus Tech switch coming very shortly from him. As it looks like Rico is going to go through the front door. Yep, managed to kill the forge before the upgrade complete. Dez has managed to push his army forward, but there are a lot of Hydras in this force, so if he can keep them at the back, Dez is going to have a huge amount of DPS in this force, trying to kill off the rocks, but these cannons are just laying into his units. Yeah, it was going into it as well, trying to pick off a couple of pylons. He is supply bot Dez is right now, so he won't be able to do any warpings. Cannons going down left, right, and centre. Voyager is not being picked off or dealt with. The Hydras cannot get in there to deal damage to these Hydras. As it looks like both, un both armies are aiming for those destructible rocks. And now the whole front gate of Rico's... Uh, oh, good base. force fields! Lovely force fields going down. Some Lings and Roaches going into the main base right now of Dez to deal with lots of damage to these probes. A couple of Zealots are being warped in to help deal with that. Roaches aren't able to get through. The Immortal doing a lot of damage at the minute. It's on 11 kills and going up, trying to target fire right down. There's just too much stuff here for Dez to... Uh, for Rico to actually deal with, and Dez will manage to hold... More Lings and Ridge are streaming across the middle of the map right now, but they're just going straight for their death with these 
Zealots and Rages and oh, not Rages, sorry, Stalkers, Immortals in the Void Ray. Absolutely, that Immortal on 15 kills now, the other Immortal on 16 kills. Dez managed to 